So uh, this morning, oh, it was a bit dark in it. Let's try that. There we go. So th this morning, I uh, took Joe to work, which I don't normally do because she drives herself to work and back. Uh, but I thought, well, you know, I'll spend some time with my wife. I'll take a load off her. I'll drive her to work. It's about 90 minutes there and back, which I'll do twice in the day. Um, and as a trucker of 15 years, it's not especially taxing to drive for hour and a half twice a day that wouldn't even be a morning's work um, and it got me thinking about how we can help others now joe usually drives herself to work so that's fine because i've driven the family car it meant i could go and get something that came early in the post that was actually faulty i could return it really easily so that's really great but the point is i did something really simple to help somebody else out okay i've got a benefit out of that because i've got the car and i could pop out and return this broken thing where is God asking us and nudging us and prompting us to help others? Sometimes it can be really easy. For me personally, driving for 90 minutes isn't particularly taxing. For others, it might be. But what's God asking you to do to help someone else today or tomorrow? It might be really simple. It might just be a bit of your time. And as I once learned a long time ago in a business uh, commerce training stuff, your time is the only thing that you have that's free. Everything else costs your time is actually free. So when we give of our time, it's not costing us directly anything other than our goodwill. Um, so what is God asking you to do to help somebody else today? Maybe it's giving them a lift. Maybe it's an email or a phone call or a text. Maybe it's just a smile. But what is God asking you to do for someone today? It might be really simple. 